Nvidia has been putting the work in to create a wonderful experience for their follow-up to last year's Shield, and now it is a tablet. But to get that real gaming experience, you do need a pretty good controller, and luckily Nvidia has made one specifically for this tablet. So, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a look at the Nvidia Shield wireless controller. <laughs> Unboxing the Shield wireless controller is a pretty standard affair. After all, you get just the controller, and then underneath you have the documentation and micro USB cables in order to charge the device. But it's when you get past the plastic on the triggers that you really start to feel like Nvidia created something special here. After all, this has to provide the best experience possible for the gaming on this tablet, and once you get it into your hands, you really do feel the girth of this particular controller. You have the general button layout that you can come to expect from a controller like this, but the top portion has touch sensitive controls for Android specific commands like home, recent apps and back. But that Nvidia uh, logo right in the middle is able to be pressed in order to get you to the Nvidia hub. So you can go ahead and start all of your games right from the controller itself. Down on the bottom, however, is where something really special is. That little silver area is actually a touch sensitive area that, uh, that feels a lot like a mouse trackpad. And you're able to use your thumb to use the mouse and a cursor will come up on the screen in order for you to uh, click on things inside of the interface on your Shield tablet. And then you have a volume controller on the bottom with the Shield logo in the middle. Head on up to the top and you'll see another special feature on here. Um, while you do have the charging port right there, right next to it is also an audio jack in which you will be able to connect a standard pair of headphones and you'll be able to listen to all of the uh, music or all of the audio coming from your games or media uh, in, through the controller itself so you don't actually have to tether yourself to the tablet. It is great to use when you are using the tablet on your TV and thus it makes for a good wireless audio solution so that you don't really have to tether yourself to the tablet when it itself is tethered to let's say your TV. Now a quick note about the usage of the controller itself. Sometimes we look for controllers that not only will work on our tablets but also our computers. Uh, but unfortunately in the case of the Nvidia Shield tablet it works via Wi-Fi Direct. This is not a Bluetooth controller by any means and it connects directly to the Shield tablet through its own connection and thus will be able to provide a more or less a one-to-one -one experience. Definitely one of the most uh, low latency uh, experiences that I have had on any tablet with any controller and uh, that in that sense the Nvidia Shield controller is pretty much only going to be used with the Shield tablet or the Shield portable of last year. So it's not really an all-purpose kind of controller and I really wish it was because it is a badass looking controller and feels great to boot. Using the actual controller shows how it really shines. After all, on the box, it says that it has to provide a console-like experience, and I tend to agree. The response time is great on this. I really experienced no lag from my presses to what is actually happening on the NVIDIA Shield tablet. And after that, uh, the button presses and all of the analog sticks and the D-pad and all the buttons on the sides, even the trackpad itself, feel really high quality. But therein lies a particular question that you may have to ask yourself. When you get the NVIDIA Shield tablet, it probably will be a great media consumption device for you, even if if you do like touchscreen controls, but if you don't want to spend $60 on a controller, which to some people out there might sound a little ludicrous, there are a lot of other options out there. And in my case, I used one called the Nyko Playpad Pro while I was waiting for this Shield controller to finally come in because it is uh, backordered in a lot of areas. Uh, I just went ahead and got a Nyko Playpad and uh, the Playpad Pro was developed in conjunction with Nvidia. So it's supposed to work quite well with Nvidia Tegra devices. And in that regard, I already said before that it works pretty well. The Bluetooth connection is pretty strong and the response time is all right. But I will say that Nvidia's own controller definitely outshines the Nyko Playpad Pro, especially when it comes to just the general feel. Of all of the ones out there, the Nyko Playpad Pro is actually pretty good and works really well with the Nvidia Shield tablet. And with that price, it really does justify that purchase if you really don't want to go for a more expensive one like this. I will say though that if you do pay the $60 for the Nvidia Shield controller, you are going to get your money's worth. It is working really well with this, and really it's the kind of experience that only Nvidia could bring you with their own periphery. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best content, including my full review of the Nvidia Shield tablet, especially now that I have the full experience available with the Shield wireless controller. Keep it tuned here and watch content from my colleagues in Android. Drop us some likes if you haven't already, and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And when you're done with all of that, don't forget to head on over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.